What's up, what's up everyone and welcome to Passport Stamp. And on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how I am preparing to move to Medellin, Colombia. But on Passport Stamp, we like to talk about international traveling and living abroad. So hit the subscribe button and join the Passport Stamp family. Numero uno, the way that I am preparing to move to Medellin, Colombia, just saving my money. You know, as far as going out, that's not in the picture. Limit me spending money is where I'm capitalized on trying to save my money. So even the things that people may think that they need, that they really don't need. For example, I didn't need cable, so that's canceled. Going out every weekend, that's canceled. <laughs> like bars and restaurants you know i might treat myself here and there but when it boils down to it he just going out spending money for no apparent reason to shop all the time like things that's not necessary for me but like the old saying says if you have clothes on your back food on the table and a roof over your head i try to live a simple life and by doing that it enabled me to save money a lot of ways to save money and one way to save money for me is just to stay at home so keep it going let's jump into numero dos ways that i am preparing to move to managing colombia would be seeing everything i need as far as visas there are all different types of visas uh, i chose the student visa the student visa is available for those who are willing to stay longer than 90 days and have already been accepted in schools in colombia so uh, that's the route that I'm going, but they also have tourist visas, investment visas, work visas, business visas, retirement visas, and the list goes on. But the one that best fit for me was the student visa. It's the easiest route for me to go. So um, just basically getting all the documents I need uh, as far as applying for the student visa. Numero tres on how I'm preparing to move to Medellin, Colombia. I would say searching for a great school. Like I said, with number two is I'm going a student visa route. So basically doing the research to find a great school that's gonna be able to give me exactly what I need. And as far as school, when I say school, it's not like I'm going for a business degree, an engineer degree in Columbia. I'm basically going for a, a two year school where they teach Spanish. I want my Spanish to be um, at a better level, period. So searching schools, making sure that they fit my schedule, uh, make sure that they're not far away from where I'm going to be living. The ones I've been searching is I'm down to two, but there's only one that I've been speaking with uh, the administration and that is LCN. Language Center Network. They, they have a great rating. Um, I got to speak to an instructor and it just sounds like it was something that fits me as a person, fits my personality, just the whole school. And plus this school was be like 15 minutes from my area, kind of where I'm trying to live at. But it was also another school I was looking at and that's the University of Medellin. And this school here, is in a different area on where I was trying to stay, but still plus, I could live in that area. University of Medellin is not in the location where I was looking. So I would have to either uh, catch a cab, or find some type of transportation to get to this place. It's not in walking distance compared to LCN where I can literally, uh, if I get it right, I can literally walk out of my apartment door and be in school in 15 minutes just walking. So let's jump right back into it, y'all. Numero Quatro's reasons on how I'm preparing to move to Medellin, Colombia would be a place to live. Um, searching for different areas. Um, I've been traveling to Colombia for the last three years. So uh, out of these three years, I've got familiar with the areas and the environment. So the way they break it down in Medellin, Colombia is they divide into six zones which in turns are divided into 16 communas. Zone six would be the most wealthiest side. And the areas that I've been searching are more areas I'm fam familiar with, like uh, Lieres and El Poblado. El Poblado is basically where a lot of tourists stay. El Poblado is basically a zone five and it's communal 14. 
uh, Community 13, which is more on the lower side, probably centered on different pictures with the graffiti. Well, this neighborhood is considered uh, zone two. So just tells you on how much the household is bringing in as far as currency. The reason why I chose El Poblado is basically because uh, it's a great zone to live in. And basically I'm close to a lot of things, shopping malls. And like I said, if I get it right, the certain apartments that I've been looking at, I would be 15 minutes to walk to my school. And that's perfect for me. Well, I, know I, have, I do not have to drive, I do not have to get in the cab, I don't have to find no way to catch a bus or anything like that. I can walk to my school, which is perfect. And it's an exit tow that is right by the school. For you guys that don't know what an exit tow is, exit tow is just like what you would say is a Kroger's here or a Walmart here. That is their famous store line that's down there, it's called exit tow. As far as apartments, to give you an example, you can get a two bedroom apartment for uh, I would say 350 to the $500 a month U.S. currency. A month, yes, I said it, a month. 350 to 500 U.S. dollars a month, you know? So it's perfect for me, uh, it fits my budget. Guys, I also, I know I've been getting a lot of questions about how would I be able to financially do this. And I'm coming up with a great, great video that's gonna have some great content, some great information in there for you guys to let you know exactly how I will be financially taking care of myself while I'm in Colombia. Those are my four reasons how I am preparing to move to Medellin, Colombia. I hope that it helped out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. But don't forget, a passport stamp, we always like to remember, your passport stamp, of today are your memories of tomorrow. Peace.